Today on TV Box Stop, I feature the last mobile gamepad you'll ever buy. This is a next-generation mobile gaming controller, specially designed for Android and iOS multiplayer online battle arena and first-person shooter games. Presenting the GameSir G5 Bluetooth gamepad featuring a multifunction trackpad and programmable buttons. Up next, I have a full review and live demonstration. So stay tuned, you have that after the break. Welcome back. If you have never seen or heard of them before, GameSir is the leading manufacturer of programmable gaming gear for Android and iOS mobile devices, and they provide the most advanced keymapping features. But today's video is not about mobile gaming, it's about TV boxes and how the GameSir G5, which is their top-end model, can transform your TV box into an Android gaming console, and play the most difficult touchscreen games with advanced gamepad keymapping features. And without further ado, I will do a quick unboxing. In the box, you have the G5 gamepad itself. You get one micro USB charging cable. And a user's manual. Let's take a look at its design and the various buttons you have on this gamepad. The body of the gamepad feels premium grade and you can tell it's a durable quality product. The body is made of plastic and there's an unusual layout of buttons on this gamepad. Starting from the front left, you have the left joystick, the direction pad or better known as the D-pad. You have a start button, a select button, a battery level check button, and a mode button. And just above the power button you have your LED indicators. On the front right, you have your 4 AXYB standard buttons. You have 4 additional buttons numbered 1 to 4, and where the right joystick is usually located you have an ABXY trackpad, and I'm sure you're excited to see how it works. At the front center, you have a home button that is also the power button and the Bluetooth pairing button. You have a flip-up holder for holding a mobile phone, and below this holder you have a turbo button and a mouse pointer button. To the top of the gamepad, you have your R1 R2 and your L1 L2 trigger buttons. But they went a step further and added two trigger buttons labeled L4 and R4, and between the buttons you have the micro USB charging port. To the back of the gamepad, you have yet again two more trigger buttons labeled L5 and R5, and there's also a reset button. A feature that's not mentioned in the manual is that the gamepad has removable handles that reveal a USB port for keyboard and mouse controls when connected to a desktop, and on the other side it has what appears to be a USB dongle holder. Inside the G5 you have an 800 mAh rechargeable battery and it does not have a vibration mechanism. I cannot say why they left out this feature, but my best guess is that it has something to do with the trackpad and interference. So that's it for the external features, and I will now show how to connect it to an Android TV box. So to connect the G5 to a TV box is quite simple but it's done differently because you don't have a code scanner on TV boxes. So the first thing you have to do is open your favorite browser and go to the GameSir.hk website and download the GameSir World app. Once you have downloaded the app, install it and move on to the next step. Now you have to connect the gamepad to the box via Bluetooth. To do this, simply press and hold the power button until you see the power LED starts to flash. Then press it once more until it starts to flash rapidly, indicating that it is in Bluetooth pairing mode. Then head over to your TV box and open your Bluetooth settings and search for a new device. You will then see the GameSir G5 as an available device to pair with. Connect to the gamepad and return to the launcher. Now open the GameSir app and navigate to the main screen. 
on the main screen you will see an interface very similar to the Octopus and the Panda keymapping apps. On the bottom panel click on the play game button and you will now see the similar features of the Octopus and Panda apps. Click on the add button and select the games you would like to play with the gamepad. The gamepad was specially designed for battle royale and first person shooter games but it's not limited to these games. To start playing your first game select it, and wait for the app to start it. In the process you should approve any permissions necessary for the game to play. During gameplay using an air mouse or a regular computer mouse which works even better, click on the Game Sir icon in the top left corner and add buttons to the game like this. Airdrop is coming. The Game Sir G5 has advanced joystick and trackpad functions allowing you to emulate advanced slide functions and joystick movements. Reloading! Reloading! Enemy down! Reloading! Pick it up, team. I cannot cover every feature of the game Sir G5 because it is a lot to cover. So for my final demonstration I will play the new Call of Duty Mobile and do an overlay of the gamepad in action.
Reloading! Cover me! In summary, I wouldn't tell you that the Game Sir G5 is the easiest gamepad to use because there are lots of configurations to fine-tune your gaming experience. I didn't do enough in this video to explain all the settings, but it's just to give an overview of this amazing hybrid gamepad controller. So I have come to the end of my review. If you are interested in this amazing gamepad, see the links in the description area as usual to support my channel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and see you in the next one.